listen to the folks we got here today. We got the Memphis Vice back here today. Lou Winston, uh, Jerry Bryant will be here. Also, Big Joe LaDuke coming in a little bit later on today. Lawler, the King, Dutch Mantell teamed up for action today. The Mod Squad will be here with J.D. Costello. Tony Falk will try to turn around his losing record one more time. We have had two major title changes uh, during the past week, and we're talking about the fact that the international heavyweight champion is now Billy Travis, mm -hmm. who beat Abdul Gaddafi, and the Mod Squad is now the Southern Tag Team Champion. And Eddie Marlin is still Eddie Marlin. Eddie yeah, Good. Lance, I yeah, want to come, come on. on. I want to tell you one more time that I want to apologize. Let's for get what right I down here, Ed. I just want to tell you one ah. more time, and I want to tell all the people, I want to apologize for what happened. And we've got a little film clip. Not Those that fault. didn't see it, I'd like to show it. Mm -hmm. I remember it all too well. Anybody else? But don't say we lost, okay? okay but what I want to tell you is that whether you deny it or whatever you want to do with the thing, the end result, let me put it this way, Lawler and Mantell won, so that means you guys lost, and that's exactly what happened. Here. And that's all. We I just wanted people to see it. The Jarrett Promotions, the TV station here, nobody's going to condone that type stuff. Bill Dundee and Buddy Landell has been fined $1,000 each, and we want to give you the guarantee, you too, Dave Brown, that if they put their hand on you one more time, then neither one of them will be able to appear on this station for five years. I love that part of it, And Eddie. again, I don't want to apologize. Well, I appreciate your concern. Thank you very much, Eddie Marlin. And I really appreciate that last one. I think that will curtail any uh, any kind of... Okay, we got lots of action coming up. What do you say we get into? We'll be back in just one moment. Billy Travis, the new international heavyweight champion. We'll be talking to Billy Travis a little bit later on. Not too long. If you don't want to talk about the Memphis Vice Clown, you go back there with Dave and sit down. You Pri understand? Travis happens to be so a what? champion. I beat Travis before. Ain't no big deal. I can beat him again. We don't want to talk about nobody but the Memphis Vice. You understand? Well, we want to talk about Lance, but let me tell you something. We're fixing to give these boys a wrestling lesson out of the Bryant and Winston State with Jackson. And if you don't believe we're going to be the new Southern Heavyweight Champions before long, watch us. Watch what we think this is for. Well, we new, Big Lou, Jerry Bryant, the Memphis of Vice climbing in the ring, and we're about ready to get underway with the action. All right, well, here they are, the Memphis Vice, <laughs> Big Lou Winston, and there's Jerry Bryant, a word or two for the referee, a double high five, and they're ready to go here. It's Jim Jamison starting for the team of Jim Jamison and Keith Eric across the way. Lou's tipping those scales. He's been working hard in that gym. He's tipping them a little better in 250 right now, Dave. He's put on some weight. He's always been tough. But look at uh, Jim Jamison firing Jerry Bryant across the ring. Winston and Bryant, uh, the Memphis Vice, better not take Jamison and Eric lightly. Jamison uh, with an upset victory here just a week ago on championship wrestling in a single match. So uh, he's trying to serve notice that he's a force to be reckoned with, too. Who's going to put a little mental on him? He's tapped his head and said, you watch this. That doesn't look very mental to me. Jamison had the headlock on him. Winston got out of that and is back on his feet. Jameson tags out, and here comes Keith Eric. Dave, for the old timers, they'll remember Burma shade signs. I, I, I'm about the messages on the back of the tights, like I was about Burma shade. I love to read, and I'm seeing get this. Yeah, get this. What we need is get this, and then something else on one of the other ones. <laughs> right. Set on both of them. Continuing message. Jerry Bryant pointing the finger. Keith Eric tag on Big Lou. Keith Eric picked up by the hair by Lou Winston. Knocked back into the rope. We're at the two-minute mark of this match. 
Overall time limit on it, by the way, is 15 minutes. Next snapped by Lou Winston as he snapped Keith Eric back into the into the ring. Jerry Bryant right there to pick him up. Off the rope. Bryant scooped him and slammed him. He didn't go for the cover. He was kind of pointed to him as just to say, all right, that's what you get. And then he tagged Big Lou Winston. Bryant's the kind of guy that if you don't dislike him when you start wrestling, you will before it's over with. Because he likes to pull that hot dog and, and that sort of stuff and make you look bad. He loves that. Here's Jameson back in. He started the match for his team. He's victim of the side headlock and a fist. Winston hit him, but the referee couldn't see what was going on as Winston was taking him over to the corner. There's the tag. Winston will be stepping back through, but before Bryant leaves, he'll let him have it with a right fist. Lou Winston. Oh, holding Jamison up. Jerry Bryant on the middle rope. Referee's attention to murder, and Bryant goes flying about a quarter of a way across the ring. Winston. Put Jameson into the rope. Upper arm puts him on the mat. Winston did not try for the cover there. Instead, Jameson's head into the turnbuckle. Now Winston on the middle rope. Comes off of there, drops with the elbow. Three and a half minutes gone in this one. It has pretty much been the Memphis Vice. Jameson uh, was to hold his own early in the uh, fall, but Memphis Vice has taken over. Now there's a cover, and a count is two, three. He got it. Jerry Bryant, Lou Winston, the Memphis Vice with a pin and the victory in three minutes. 50 seconds of action here. And Bryant and Winston adding a little insult to the injury as they leave the ring with a victory well in hand. They say they're the new Memphis Vice, a force to be reckoned with, and, well, they did all right there today. Yeah, impressive win, no doubt. The Memphis Vice looking very, very strong in there. We were talking about him a little bit earlier. We want to get out. A young man that um, got reason to be proud of himself and son of a gun. We're proud of him, too, because... He persevered, stayed with it, and walking in right now is the new international heavyweight champion, Billy Travis. He won it from, congratulations, Billy. Everybody is tickled to death. Well, I know uh, Gaddafi, <laughs> but most of the wrestling fans are tickled to death, and congratulations on a super win over a very big guy. You stayed with it, and you beat him. Okay, thank you, Lance. You know, I can't fool anybody. This is the happy t happiest day of my life, and... Uh, I can't fool myself. I didn't do this alone. It took my Frank Morrell, Phil Hickerson, and most of all you people out there. And if it wasn't for you, this is your belt too. This is your belt and this is my belt and I'll defend it against anybody, anytime and anywhere. You know one thing, Billy, when you, uh, when you start talking about championship, and we've made the remark a good many times, it's very hard to get the belt, but let me tell you, it is going to be just twice as hard to keep it because everybody is... Look out, look out, Bill! We need some help out here on this thing. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's take a break and we'll be back. Can we get somebody out here to help with Billy? Wednesday night, just looking over the card, my friend, and it is a dandy of a full card in there, but the headline event is going to be a Texas Death Elimination Match. Now listen to this. Texas Death Match, same rule. You keep going, falls don't count till a guy cannot continue and answer the bell, and then he is eliminated. But this one is a team situation where he'll be carted off back to the dressing room and one man will have to face two and it goes until one complete team is eliminated in action. Now Wednesday night, you gotta believe that is gonna be a long, fierce battle of championship wrestling action in there. We wanna get some comments from Bill Dundee and Buddy Landell. They'll be going against Lawler and Mantell. Let's listen. You know, Buddy, everybody's against you and me. I don't know what 
to make everybody so mad, but we must have done something. Lawler don't want to arrest us, Mantel don't want to arrest us, and Lance Russell don't even want to talk to us. But you got to arrest us, Lawler, and we've asked for it this way. We want an elimination, Daddy. We had one fight last week. Yeah, everybody was beat half to death, but we don't want no one, two, three. We want you hurt, Lawler, and we want you out of town like you ought to be. So, Mantel, we're taking the brunt of that on you. We're going to hurt you, Jack, and eliminate you. Then it's going to leave the nature boy and the superstar on you, Lawler, and we're taking you out, and you'll be so embarrassed to come back. You'll leave town by yourself. That's right, Bill. You know, Dutch man tell Jerry Lawler one's scared and the other one's glad of it. Just like you said, Bill, we're going to tell him what we're going to do right up front. We're going to take you out, Mantell, and then we're going to let Lawler just get... He's going to leave town on his own. We ain't going to have to beat him up because after the punishment we put Dutch Mantell through, Lawler's going to go, oh my gosh, what did I, what did I start? We're taking you out, Lawler. Ooh, that's one side of the story, my friend, but there is another side, and we'll be getting to that a little bit later on in this championship wrestling. Just let me tell you this. Picture it. Wednesday night, the Evansville Coliseum, Texas elimination match coming up. You see it. Mm. Jerry Lawler, Dutch Mantell, in the big uh, Texas death battle defeat. Bill Dundee and Buddy Landell. And boy, I'll tell you what, that is some fierce kind of action where the falls don't count and you just go till somebody can't. And uh, they did it again, however. Rugged bout, no question about that. Well, now, isn't that nice? No. You know better than that. I have no intention of coming over there. You want a mic? There's a mic right there. Well, we figured you wouldn't do that. We figured you wouldn't talk to us. Well, you ain't going to talk to anybody all day long. Just don't be a waste sport. Because we figured you'd be too chicken, Russell. I, uh, I, uh, my curiosity is up. i got to admit that. It dressed in suits and, and the whole thing. Dundee and Landell. What is this? Sam Hill, do you guys think you're going to do with that? The Bill and Buddy show. <laughs> Bill, Budro, we need us a bell. I ain't going to hit you, Russell. I don't even like you. Hey, fine. You want to, go right ahead. You got five years of your life to spend. We need you a microphone, Budro. Don't go away. What Thank is, you, Bill. What Thank is you. all of the... <laughs> All right, here we go now. Okay, you got a format, Bubba. Okay. You ain't gonna talk to us? You ain't gonna talk to us. Hey, okay. Just, just I'll be Dave Brown, you be Lance Russell. Because Dave rings the bell. Here we go, get him out here. Okay, fans. Mixed match coming up. Mixed match coming up, folks. All right, you're looking at the Buddy Landau and the Bill Dundee our Daddy. Lance Russell and Dave Brown don't want to talk to us. They ain't going to talk to nobody. We're now, here's two young gladiators coming, Garmin and Thriller. Big powerful devil, old Joe LaDuke. Hi, hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. How you you got to be the strongest baby? man in wrestling, Joe. Are you going to climb a mountain? Oh, yeah. Buddy Landau. Yes, sir, baby. Take over. We own Memphis, right Daddy. Joe. They don't have no opponent for me, so... Here it is. I've All right. Back, He's got to be the strongest man in wrestling, Bill. Besides us. <laughs> You're right. Okay, here we go. The bell time. Hey! I always wanted to do this, Budro. I love it. I love it. Joe got things in like a big horse collar. Do they actually get paid doing this? Well, I don't know, but okay. Joe LaDuke going to weigh in about 285. Moves pretty good for a big fella, don't you? He sure does. Well, old Garmin, well, Budro, you was pretty good, you Bill. I can do it just a little bit better, I believe, Bill. I believe your arm's a little bit bigger than Joe's. Now, Joe's strong. We're not knocking him, but he's strong. We'd be the last people in the world to knock anybody, Bill. You know that. Old Garmin looked like he just went into a brick wall. Good legal move there. Good legal move, Joe. That was it, brother. Very good. Budro, the only guy in professional wrestling that hits harder than Joe the Duke, I believe, is you. 
And you, don't forget that one punch uh, Jeff Jarrett suffered. Remember that, Bill? One punch Dundee, yeah, baby. Yeah, one punch little, Dundee. Oh, got in our face one time on television. That's right. We sat and he's crippled old dead, but one eye came down trying to help me. <laughs> and we got our own problem. Now, this is trailer. I believe this is trailer. I think another, another good scientific move off Leduc. Well, I don't think that's going to work, kid. You doesn't throw a bad punch, does he? Good. We taught him well. We taught him. Oh, now that was a judo chop, but I believe he's trying to get a little bit of the nature boy in him now. But it was a good chop, and we're going to give him that. But it ain't hey, no Lance nature Rose, boy, baby. Lance Russell and Dave Brown get paid for this. They actually get paid for this, Bill. Hey, look at them eyes on Joe. I don't think anybody's home up there. That elevator don't go all the way to the top with you. Yeah, the lights on. The lights on, but ain't nobody home, baby. Oh, now we got to give him credit there, buddy. That was a good drop kick from a 285-pound monster. Very good drop kick. Bill, you think by looking in his eyes he'd kill his own mama, don't you? For a quarter, for a quarter, brother, for a quarter. We'd do it for cheaper than that, wouldn't we, baby? Very good, Joe. We ain't being biased, but I believe this is a bad over. Scientific move there, but oh, scientific. Yeah. We gotta fit that one into our repertoire, Bill. Well, I got we gotta give them two kids A for effort or G for guts or something, because just to get in there with him is something. That's exactly right. I believe he's just gonna make LeDuc mad. I think it, well, I don't know, they're putting up a pretty good show, but no. But you and I, I believe you and I would have both not that by now, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Bill, we could have beat him in five seconds. Well, you, you got to give the boy... Oh, I think they made a mistake. I think they made a mistake. Bye-bye. Well, what's happening now? Good right. Good right. we got to give him credit there, brother. It was a good right, Budro. He wasn't no superstar, though, right? No, and it was no nature boy, but, you know, for a big old dumb Canadian, he ain't bad, though. Hey, baby, there, well, ain't, there ain't a Canuck out there that can outdo the nature boy in the superstar, baby. <laughs> Is that something you eat or what? Oh, now he's pretty strong. Bad oh, my God, look, 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 look. Oh, oh, I believe that boy's dead. Oh, yeah, well, that boy. I guess we, I'm oh, going to ring it, Calhoun. I'm going to ring it. I know what to do. What for? The boy jumped over the top rope. What's wrong with you? Anyway. But you better call in the National Guard, the baby. They, he well, look, come out. and get this garbage out of here. we got to interview Joel Duke. Get the janitor in here and sweep his puke get up the off the floor. Get the janitor in here, brother. Over the top, Joe. Oh, it was, was good, too. There, it's dead. Joe. Ah. Come on over okay, here, Joe. Joe. That was very good, Joe. Very Thank good. You. You've got to be very the strongest good. guy in professional yeah. wrestling. Thank you. Budrow, I don't think Budrow has ever seen this, but I have. You know what this is, buddy? I don't have any idea. Joe puts any one. Idea. Oh, look at Here comes Eddie Marlin in the troops. Get the garbage out of here, Marlin. Bag of potatoes. <laughs> Get a whisk broom and just sweep that puke off the floor. All in country, boy, and muscle head. You like to pull some on me? You like to pull Marlin's a bike? Well done, them farmers, and everybody to think they're strong. Just come on and take some of Joel and Duke. All right, you know what he's going to do, brother? He's going to take 10 guys, and anybody that wants to come down there and challenge him this week and pull them apart gets $500. Well, Budro, we're in charge of the show. I guess we take us a little break. We'll be right back. full card for Wednesday night right there in the Evansville Coliseum. But first, let me tell you, Thursday, I'm talking about next Thursday, April the 10th, Marengo, Indiana at Crawford County High School. What a big night of action it's going to be right there. Hope maybe you'll get a friend and come on out. Sunday, April the 13th, 
Ferdinand, Indiana. Championship wrestling coming your way at Forest Park High School, sponsored by the JCs. The tickets are on sale right now. That's Thursday and Sunday. Marengo, Indiana, and Ferdinand, Indiana. Now, Wednesday night, here's what it looks like. Pat Rose, Tony Falk against Tojo Yamamoto and Frank Morrell. Special power match where Joe LaDuke will be going against 10 guys, five on each arm. If the team can pull his arms apart, by golly, it'll be $500 to the team. International heavyweight match, Billy Travis against Abdul Gaddafi. Southern Tag Match, the Mod Squad of J.D. Costello against Diamond and Lee, and then that Texas Death Elimination Match with Lawler and Mantell going against Dundee and Landell. All of that Wednesday night. Okay, folks. No, no, you ain't imagining things. This is Buddy Landell and Bill Superstar Dundee. And we fired Lance Russell and Dave Brown. Get out of here, Look at your sheet, bud. What's next? We got a little thing here. What, what does it say now, Budro? It says the Lawler video spot. The Lawler... Oh, no, no. no. We ain't doing that. That's out. That's out. We ain't just scribble that out, Budro. We ain't doing that. That ain't being done. We'll looking at our pretty faces okay. for a while. Now yeah. we got a match coming on up here because we ain't doing no spot for Jerry Lawler. I'll tell you. It says it on the format that we got to run it. We got to run it. We have to. Well... Okay, folks, in TV land, if you're going to go make a cup of coffee, if you've got to go to the little boy's little girl's room, or you just got to take a nap, this is the perfect time to do it, because the guy upstairs is going to run it anyway, so go ahead. Hi, everybody. This is Jerry the King Lawler. And the people at Independent Media Marketing have put together a very special video just for all my fans out there. If you order it right now, you're going to get 60 minutes of wrestling's heart and soul. You're going to see on it some of my most spectacular entrances into the different arenas and coliseums. And also a match that has become a classic all across the country. It happened in Tupelo, Mississippi, and it happened in the concession stand. Also, you're going to see some of my greatest moves, including the big pile driver and the match that, well, that everybody in the world talked about the Andy Kaufman feud is all included on there also you're gonna see a showdown match with one of my most toughest opponents ever the wild man from Texas Terry Funk and it was a bloody and brutal battle also you're gonna see some of my some of my most vicious opponents that I've ever faced including guys like Jimmy Vant and Joe LaDuke and then you're gonna see the big Jimmy Hart loser leave town match the match in which I went against Eddie Gilbert to get rid of Jimmy Hart from this area once and for all you're gonna see the king throw the fire you're gonna see wrestling's first music video and much much more that's all on this video and if you order right now you're going to get a special price. It's only $29.95. Now, this video is not available in stores. You just send $29.95 plus $5.25 for shipping and handling to the Jerry Lawler Video, Post Office Box 3020, Cherry Hill, New Jersey, 08034. Or you can call now and order it over the telephone by dialing 1-800-524-2507. It's a free call, 1-800-524-2507. I had a special hand in making this video, and I know all my fans are going to love it. So order yours now. We're out. Hey, we're out. Hold, hold. We're out. Is that over? Is that some more sports? Thank okay. God. Now we have us a wrestling match. We got to ring the bell and get Lotto and Mantell out here. Woo! Boy, this is exciting. This has got to be the most exciting time in professional wrestling. I hope the Jerry Lawler gives out no dose when he sells them things. Uh, I rung the bell of the death. We ring it again. Come on, Lawler. We are going to punch you up. Come on. Get out of here, Lawler. Yes, you got enough with the Rose Brothers in there. We sold your stinking video, so don't worry about it. Okay, folks, here we come with a little old wrestling match. As you can tell in the ring now, it's Pat and Bill Rose versus Jerry the King Lawler, and I say that very loosely, and Dirty Dutch Mantel from Oil Trough, Texas. Okay, here we go. Pal, it's underway. Woodrow, isn't this exciting, Bill? You know, looking back, I bet you sure are glad we kicked Dutch out of our group. Tom, oh, what do you yeah. think, baby? He cramped our style. Did he cramp our you style cramp or what? Okay. Now, here we go now. It's Lawler. Oh, beautiful move by Pat Rose. Beautiful move. Beautiful. A oh, beautiful hip toss. You got him, Pat. Oh, collar and elbow tie up. Now, here we go. It's Lawler again. Shot him off again. Oh, he pulled his tights, Budrow. Hey, 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 h
who pulled him? Lance Russell always gave biased opinions, or he gives his opinion, and I'm giving mine. You pulled him. Hey, I'm giving an opinion like Lance Russell usually does, him, baby. and it's biased. You're right, it's biased. That's Pat Rose, all 202 pounds of him. Legal maneuver. Well, you got to give Pat credit, brother, because there ain't too many people can throw the king around like that except yeah. you and me, bud. That's right, baby. That's exactly right. Collar and elbow hook up. Lawler back hit the ropes. He took the coward's way out. Got to give him A for effort there too, Budro. Well, Pat's tagging big brother Billy. Yeah, but he couldn't have backdropped us, so baby, that's the bottom line. You know, Bill used to be a bouncer down there at Desperados. That's how he go into throwing all the drunks out in Memphis. Come on, Lawler. Hey, just get into him, Lawler. Don't worry about it. You probably get a job over at September's place now or something. Yeah, old Doug and David's place. Go over there and hear Danny Joe Bryant play. Oh, no, that ain't right. Lala, look hey, at that double you team, man. You should them. That ain't right. As Lance Russell says, brother, Lala's got one of the best right hands in the best. Now he's punching him on the floor. That ain't right, Lala. You got to wrestle in the ring. Hey, where are the commentators? He don't want to talk to us. He ain't talking to nobody. You just get up in there. We'll ring the bell and disqualify you. Hey, we're getting a new job. Hey, if we didn't have $500 suits on, baby, we'd dust your drawers for you. That's right. Right, Bill. That's right. Now, here's Dirty Dutch Man. Now, he punched him. Referee should... Oh, now, that ain't right. He couldn't do that to us, baby. That ain't right, Mantel. Not at all. Now, he pulled him up by the hair. Held his tights and slammed him. What's that red, red around Dutch's neck? That ain't sunburn. Now, there's a good legal move there. Oh, oh. Now, a lot of outsmarted him. Well, you got to give the boy here forever. I mean, he just, you know, Pat, I don't know. Lawler headbutted him with the back of his head there, Calhoun. You ought to disqualify Lawler and hold up their hand, man. I'm telling you, hey, just wrestle. Hey, you better be glad we're in a good mood, brother. I wasn't all dressed up, brother. That's right, cheating, Pat, that's right, I'm telling you. Hold up their hand, Calhoun. That's right. Come on, Mantel, get out, get out. This is one-on-one. -on -one. Hey, isn't this great? Calhoun, you need to brush up on the techniques of refereeing, baby. Now, look at Lala go ahead. Do that strut there, Pat. Oh, well, that ain't nice. Calhoun! Russell, that ain't right. Look at all this double right kill. Two, 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 two on one. one. That ain't right, Russ. That ain't right, Lala. Now look at Mantel hitting him from the outside. That ain't right at all, man. No, no, no. That ain't right. Two on two, Calhoun. Hey, we're the commentators. We get paid to do the talking. Don't forget, we're extremely handsome too, Bill. Extremely. extremely it's handsome. horrible being a sex symbol, ain't it? Brother, it's hell. We could write novels, you know that. I'm telling you. Now where are they going? They're chicken down. They're chicken down, man. I'm hey. talking about you. I wouldn't believe it. They're chicken down. They actually left the ring. Oh. Nine. Ten. Oh, that makes them the winners. Hey, hey we're used to seeing them run, baby. Hey. We're used Bad to seeing them run. What? I'm telling you. I love okay, it. I love it. Right here on television, Bud Rose and Bill Rose beat the team of Jerry Lawler and Dirty Dutch Mantel. Hey.
got our microphones back at least, and there's no competitive desk over there. Off comes the code of Landell. Lawler going after the trousers, ripping Dundee's clothes apart. Landell shirt ripped off. And I think maybe the end of the Bill and Buddy show over there. The Lawler and uh, Mantell had been listening to them. They finally left. They lost the match. They were counted out. But they came back armed with a chair and a, and a wooden stool. And they went to work on the desk and got Landell and Dundee in the ring. Now, the Roses are both in there, too, Pat and, uh, yeah. and Bill. Pat just got a shot as Lawler slammed together. Now they're double teaming. Triple teaming Lawler is Bill Rose battling with Duck. Dundee's clothes torn all apart. Duck's coming back on him. They're trying to pull Lawler off. David Johnson and Henry Rutledge. Lawler pounding Mantel. Referee takes a shot. Here comes some reinforcements. Falk and Gaddafi and somebody else jumped in there. Oh, it's Lou Winston up on the apron. Ring filling up now as Eddie Marlin comes out to try to get these guys apart. Mantell pushes past Jameson and goes after Landell. Grabbing Dundee by the throat after Billy hit him. Finally get Lawler pulled back into the corner. Dundee takes another shot from Lawler. Landell breaks loose and goes after Dutch. Counted out and lost the match officially, but they sure didn't lose that one, David. No, I think they ended up uh, winning the uh, the war there. They're the ones left standing in the ring after everybody else is gone. Dutch Mantell and the King Jerry Lawler. Well, right there on the floor is how you break up a party. Yeah. Okay, we'll take time out. We'll be back in just one moment. to go with the next tag match and <laughs> we're back in business yeah it's the mod squad spike and basher jd costello with his rule book in hand at ringside and a coat that uh is most looks like it's made out of wallpaper but it isn't in the ring it's david johnson his partner henry rutledge over in the corner the Mod Squad making a tag out. This is Basher in there now. David Johnson trying to battle back with a left forearm. Didn't get too far with it. Mod Squad rugged tag team. And J.D. Costello, their manager, making, uh, making a guest appearance here. Let me talk to you for a second. I told you last week on television we would be the Southern Heavyweight Champions. If I tell you the sun didn't go shine tomorrow, you might as well get out a flashlight today. We are the Southern Heavyweight, Southern Tag Team Champions. You do have the belt. Look right? at this little whip in the ring. If he were to fall on his face, he'd break his nose. He goes through wide, pushing doors marked full. Show and tell. We're showing and telling him right now. Oh, the Mod Squad uh, did, in fact, come up with the Southern Tag Team titles. They have them right now. But the competition they're going against in, uh, in David Johnson and Henry Rutledge, while we, as we've said before, we don't want to take anything away from them. But the level of competition is not championship here today. 
No, it's not. I'll tell you right now. Look at this in the ring. Oh, they're destroying the Mod Squad right now. They're destroying him. Look at Spike. Spike's getting beat so bad he can't stand it. Spike, get out of the ring. Let's go to the dressing room. Let's get out of here. You're getting beat. Well, the Mod Squad very much in control from the opening bell. Henry Rutledge in there now really taking quite a beating from these guys. As Basher is the one that's in there now. Smile on his face. Ooh, knee right across the back of the neck. This guy that Basher's beaten up is going to be a great professional wrestler one day. He only lacks three things to get to the top right now. Ambition, initiative, and talent. That's it. And a word according to J.D. Costello, manager of the Mod Squad. A body slam. Spike. I better go out and help my team right now. They're getting beat bad. Thank you for leaving the table here. Spike and Basher. Basher in the ring right now. Pulling the hair of Henry Rutledge. Now J.D. grabbing the uh, rule book over here. J.D. explaining the Mod Squad rule book to Henry Rutledge. Yeah, very good. David Johnson out in the corner, the referee in between him and, uh, and Basher. Meanwhile, Spike from out on the apron working on Henry Rutledge while the referee was away. Are you taking notes on this today? You should be. This team's about as effective as a snowball in an oven. Watch this. Look at this. This is they ought to ring the bell right now. Mod Squad making the tag. Basher is uh, tagged out and Spike coming in now. And they are just really beaten up on uh, on Henry Rutley. It's well, JD heads back for the ring. When he gets back, I'll, uh, I'll question it. Uh, why would a team like the Mod Squad, obviously in control? I think Costello is the one that's yelling, hey, come on, you guys, let's uh, let's do it. Let's uh, let's really beat him up here. If he would just tell him, go ahead, take the pin. The Mod Squad, obviously the team with the most power here today. Off the rope, knee across uh, across the neck, and Henry Rutledge left lying in the ring. But the Mod Squad, they will not go for the pin. They haven't tried for a pin yet. J.D. Costello is not asking them for it either. He's over here rather than, uh, than over there and uh, managing. Henry Rutledge on his feet. Uh, Lance Russell. Lance Russell, are you here now? I am here, J.D. We think this is Paul Diamond and Michael Lee in the ring right now. You know, they have much chance of beating the Mod Squad as a guy with a wooden leg running through a forest fire. You know that? Yeah, I hear it. Who is this? Is this Diamond Lee? Making a reference to uh, Paul Diamond and Michael Lee. They beat them. Uh, Diamond and Lee beat them yep. last week. They sure did. They got a victory over them here. In the air, Henry Rutledge, backbreaker. As Basher drops him down hard and then slams him down hard. David Johnson over there. Henry sure needs to make a tag on him, but he'd have to do it out of instinct because he has been pounded all over that ring. You know, Lance Russell, their careers are really looking up because they're always flat on their back looking up at Spike and Basher. Yep. I don't think there's be anybody who would argue with you that uh, been a dominant force the Mod Squad has. And they just put Henry Rutledge down on the deck one more time. J.D. right there by Rutledge. Oh, boy. Bring him up on that top rope and then the hammer on him. David Johnson, and he watched all he could from the corner. Now, Spike turns on him, throws him out of the ring. Damn, he even made an effort to try to pin him, Dave. No, they have, they have not gotten a single one count. Much less gone for a three. They're just wanting to uh, to show their power, and uh, if they hurt somebody in the process, so what? The attitude of the Mod Squad and J.D. Costello. Big 
clothesline followed by a drive. Here's the first attempt, two, three. They could have done that five minutes ago. Instead, they just beat on them, beat on them, beat on them. Six minutes, 49 seconds the time. 6.49, and the mod squad still continues to work. When you get team. those guys out of there, they beat them enough, J.D. Go get them stopped and done. They won the match. Enough is never enough. My men do as they please. They do as I tell them to do. Yeah, well, go tell them to quit picking on somebody they've already boys. beat up over there. Come on, boys. I said, you know from the J.D.? Take my hand, boys. You did a great job. You did a fantastic job. Speaking of fantastic. <laughs> Lance Russell, you're looking at the new Southern Tag Team I know, champion. I know. You know what? I went into a newsstand this morning. I bought a copy of USA Today, the sports page. Get a close-up of this cameraman. You do as I say. I want you to read what it says, Lance Russell. You read what it says. I want to hear it from you. It says, Mod Squad's victory. Fantastics chicken out. Now, come on. Don't give me that. Look at the Fantastics. The Fantastics, they're gone now. You know, what did they say? They were here to stay and not to play. They were going to give 220%. Well, right now, they're eating a great big plate of crow, and we're happy about it. Let's take a moment and pause for the dearly defeated Fantastics. No, no, that's, that's all. Let's talk about more important things like the mod squad the new tag team champions now the mod squad's the best professional wrestling team you've ever seen in this area and what what's coming up next for us lance tell well, us about i'll tell it. you what's coming up next you got a challenge coming from paul diamond and michael lee before i talk about them let me tell you about us as the champions we are in the same class now is the world heavyweight champion Ric Flair. As he says, to be the man, you've got to beat the man. Well, to be the team, you've got to beat the team. And I don't see anybody in this great country of ours capable of competing with the Mod Squad and J.D. Costello. Now, Michael and Lee, my mother always told me if you don't have anything good to say about anybody, not to say anything at all, but for once in my life, I'm not going to take her advice. I've got something to say about them. They're low lowlifes, they're thieves, they're scavengers of the night. You know, they get their rent free. They get free... Uh, Free accommodations down at cell block number C at the city jail every night. Now, they're not much competition to us. We're not very worried about them. So if they want to come on and get in the ring with us, we have an open invitation for them. But I do want to tell them to stand in line because we're, we're in heavy competition right now. Everybody's wanting to wrestle us, and they'll just have to stand in line. Lance. I would remind you that uh, just last week here on television, they beat you, uh, your men, the Mod Squad, in a match right here on TV. You're only telling half the story, Lance, like you always do. The rest of the story is that we are the greatest, we are the best, and nobody can defeat us. That's why we are called the masters of disaster. And don't you forget it, Lance Russell. You've been out here running your mouth for 20 years. It's time that you shut up. Okay, we'll be uh, seeing them in action. The Southern Tag Champs, the Mod Squad, with J.D. Costello. And they'll have to face not only Diamond and Lee, but lots of others. Right now, let's take a break. Still got some more of that action you'll want to see right here on Championship Air Wrestling. Be back to it in just one moment. Hey, coming up Wednesday night, what'd we tell you? The main event worth the price of admission in itself, my friend. A Texas death elimination match where falls don't count. You go until both members of the team are, in fact, eliminated from the action. Cannot answer the bell. And it'll be Jerry Lawler, Dutch Mantell, going against Bill Dundee and Buddy Landell. I'm standing by for this one, Jerry. You no, know, Lance, you explain that very well, but just in case that thick-headed Dundee and Landell don't completely understand the stipulations, I want to make it perfectly clear to them. You see, we had a Texas Tornado death match last week, and you're looking at the winners right here. You're looking at the men that withstood the punishment. Everything that Dundee and Landell could put out, we took it, brother, and we are still here standing. And they were the ones that couldn't answer the bell, Lance. Well, this week, when one man is beat so bad, and when one man is covered with blood from head to toe, and he can't answer the bell, well, it's going to be over for him, but the match itself is going to still continue. They're just going to take that man, put him on a stretcher, and take him back to the dressing room. And then one man, the man that's left, is going to have to go against two opponents. Now, it may be possible, but I don't know of many men that can beat two on their own. And Dundee, 
I'm going to tell you right now, we got a little strategy too. We're going to do away with Landell, and we're going to save you for last, boy, because we're going to play with you. We're going to toy with you, and we're going to have a little fun, and we're going to make those people in Evansville mighty, mighty happy up there Wednesday night. It's going to be a good time, and you boys are in for the beatings of your life. Right, Dutch? You ain't kidding. Wednesday night's a good night for fighting, and we got two guys who think they want to fight. One's scared, and the other's glad of it. I think they said that, right? Well, if you're scared, guys, say you're scared. And they beat on me like I licked a gold cookie, and they knocked me down, and I'd get up, and they'd knock me down, and I'd get up, and I kept getting up. And like Jerry Lawler said, we're still standing here, and we're still walking away, boys. So we're going to see you Wednesday night, and it's going to be a fight, and you guys ain't going to win it. final match coming up here it's going to be our expiration of time match you'll have a chance to see Paul Diamond and Michael Lee in action against uh, Tony Falk and yes you know it was a week ago I came right out here on this program and I issued a challenge to that bum Jackie Fargo that punk Jeff Jarrett a week has went by and I haven't had any reply at all. I told you Jackie Fargo was afraid of me, and I know it. If he's not, why don't he just sign the contract, Lance Russell, and get in the ring with me? And then you have this punk Jeff Jarrett. He's always talking about he wants to prove he's a man. But if he has anything at all in him that resembles a man, he will get in the ring with Tony Falk. Because I tell you what, Jeff Jarrett, I will give you a wrestling lesson you will never forget. Well, if you get up here, you got a couple of guys that will be waiting for you right That's now. That's no problem at all, Lance Russell. But I just want these guys to come on and answer my challenge and sign the contract, and I can't wait to get him in the ring. Okay, there you have it. Uh, Tony Falk, he is wrestling with the Mass Patriot today, and we're ready for action. Elton. Paul Diamond, Michael Lee, Tony Falk will be starting out. It looks like Diamond across the way who will be starting out. And referee, Jerry Calhoun. Tony Falk with the arm winds it up and immediately it is reversed by Paul Diamond. Look at that. Boy, look at the moves Diamond puts Boy, on him, huh? He's got some. He's got some. He is something else, I tell you. Out of Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada, Paul Diamond. Uh, this Canadian youngster who uh, had some rough years. We won't go all through that story again, but I, I do admire him for the way he's come back. And he is a fool. Tag on Michael Lee. Michael Russell's out of Memphis. And they make an excellent team together. Look at that. With a bar on the arm, he monkey flips him off the rope, takes him over and down. Tony Falk on the deck. He's the one out here saying, accept my challenge, I'll beat them all. Challenge just about everybody here in the last uh, It hasn't last beaten weeks. anybody. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. Still has no victories. Uh, he was telling me uh, earlier today, today's the day. Today is the day for the first victory. We'll see because he's going against a fine, fine tag team in Paul Diamond and Michael Lee. Falk and the Mass Patriot. The Mass Patriot has not been in as yet. It's been all Tony Falk so far. Now there's a tag and the Mass Patriot will step through the ropes. Lee and Diamond, a couple of lean youngsters both of them good physique and they've shown us a lot thus far in the short time that we've seen them around Michael Lee gives it a swan dive off the second rope comes down on the mass patriot into the road clothesline he just dropped him in his tracks right in the middle of the ring. Went for the cover, got a count of one. Tag on Paul. sits down on the top of the Patriot. He's got the cover and the count of one, and again, the Patriot able to kick out at the one count. He's crawling for the ropes to the corner and the tag on Tony Falk. Falk into the ring with Diamond and a side headlock standing. Paul shakes his way out, takes the shoulder, is down on the deck, goes under. Nice! Call. Coming off the rope. And 
drags him across the ring. Double backdrop, and Tony Falk is down. Has a cover. Just a count of one. Couldn't make it stick for a three count. Good move, but uh, Tony Falk still had too much fight left in him. Michael Lee has made the tag. Paul Diamond back in now. Falk pulling his hair. Yanks him back to the corner. Mass Patriot holding him up from outside after the tag made. Now Falk leaves. And the Mass Patriot feeling like he's got things in a little better hand than he did his last trip into the ring. But not for long. Look at that reversal by Diamond. Nice sidekick by Diamond. He puts the Patriot down, covers him. One, two. He got him. He got him, indeed, with a good, solid sidekick. Sometimes you never know where you're going to uh, get that pin, and right there it was. The winners of the first ball will take time out and be back after we've checked our time.